This video is sponsored by TabG. No, not in the dropping a pallet of money on me type way, in the I'm officially in the video game type way. Swouse. That is actually my voice, and that is actually my skin. Pickle. But I'll tell you about it later, alligator. Shut up! <laughs> oh, he uncultured. What, I'm uncultured because I called Otis from Barnyard a domestic terrorist and don't know what Minecraft bed wars are? I'm uncultured? You're not wrong about Otis, though. I Looks did. like you're gonna be banned in the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. I feel like I'm sitting at the Airsofters lunch oh, yeah. table right now. TA Sports. I'm in the game. No, seriously. I'm in the game, and let me explain. Swouse. About a year ago, I uploaded a video on the greatest and dumbest battle royale to ever exist, totally accurate battlegrounds, which you guys seem to really enjoy. Please kill me. And after a second video blabbing on about how dumb the game was, and a third video blabbing on about how dumb the game was, the developer Landfall Games was like, hey dipshit, if you think the game is so dumb, why do you keep uploading it? To which I responded, that is a fair point. No matter how much I dunk on it, it is the best BR ever. So how how would you feel about being in the game? So how would you feel about being in the game? Of course I want to be in the game, you fucking moron. This discourse is greatly exaggerated. It didn't sound like this. They're actually very kind, courteous Swedish people, but picturing it this way seemed less boring. Fast forward to today, and not only is the game now free to play, but I have my very own voice pack containing 341 words you can wow, spam wow, in game. Wow. You can even control the pitch. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Uh... Pickle, pickle, pickle. <laughs> Why are there just so many words? Perish. Swag, dank, swouse. Dear God. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Wait, is sus in there? Sus. <laughs> Swag, download, complete. <laughs> That's right. For 8 to 12 bucks, depending on which money coin bundle you buy, you have a license to shit post with my voice. Swouse. 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 And I know that may be a little pricey, like, what the fuck? 8 to 12 dollars? I wouldn't download that shit for free, bad. <laughs> But remember, the Tab G is now free to play, so the servers in development are entirely funded by cosmetics and voice packs like mine that are essentially YouTube poops, 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 poops you can purchase. So just give it some thought. What? Give it some thought. That's your call to action? Fuck you, Spider-Man. How did you even get- Just tell them you like money. You make money if they buy it, right? Of course I make money if they buy it. You think I wouldn't monetize this? I'm more capitalist than Mr. Crap. Then tell them it's about money. It's not a big deal. Look, look, look. Hey, everybody, this guy likes making money. See, nobody cares. It's not always about the money, Spider-Man. I just wanted the word swouse in a video game. Can it be both? <laughs> Buying it is by no means necessary to have fun in Tab G. I just get a real kick out of screaming at new players that don't know how to jump yet. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. And if that wasn't enough, they gave me my own goddamn skin. Which was an impossible decision, by the way, because I knew I wanted it to either be a shark suit or a croc suit due to my fascination with animals that are old as fuck. Like sharks? Do you know how fucking tight sharks are? Check this out. Those motherfuckers are so old, they are older than trees. Yeah. Trees. Sharks are more than 450 million years old. Even the earliest tree didn't sprout his dumb ass up until around 380 million years ago. Isn't that fucking insane? There is currently a living great white shark in the ocean that was alive when Christopher Columbus did his shit. Wait a minute, I fact checked this? That shit ain't true. At one point, there was a Greenland shark we thought was 500 years old, but we recently checked our math, and it's probably closer to 400 years old, which is still a long fucking time, but it was not a great white, and his ass did not see Chris Columbus. No fucking shot. I mean, I'm just saying, he was in the motherfucking water. Ain't much change. <laughs> Damn, there's more plastic nowadays, but that's it. Yo, what's this clear shit that's making it hard to breathe? Yo, should I stick this straw in my nose because I'm a dumbass turtle? Yeah, probably. <laughs> fuck them turtles, man. If they're too Little dumb to get a fuck. straw in their nose, who sees trash and is like, I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> <laughs> And crocodiles are 200 million years old. That's 100 million years older than the T-Rex. And that may not sound like that long ago, but even the earliest humans are only a couple million years old, and modern humans like us are only a couple hundred thousand years old. 
So if you've ever complained that Jurassic Park isn't a real thing, it is a real thing. It's just not called Jurassic Park. It's called Florida, and the mortality rate is much higher. I work as a deli clerk in Florida. I daily deal with Florida people trying to prove their authority to someone who's from the Northeast. Anytime I have to deal with these morons, I calmly remember that they're Florida people. They can't even dig their own graves. They literally live in a swamp. They're fucked anyway. Wow, you do not like Florida people. Half the chat. Which is why I went with a custom croc suit over the shark suit. Because Metal Gear Solid already proved it's tactically effective at fooling enemies. Sharks don't exist on land, except King Shark. And it's better linguistically. Like, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but have you ever heard of Croco with a Glocko? Look at him. Right you can shoot anybody that comes at us, all right? It's a little cheaper than the voice pack at six to eight bucks. Again, depending on which money coin bundle you buy. And I've got nothing but incredible feedback. Back so far. I spent money on this. I feel nothing to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to lose. Kill me. Look at him. Look at him go. He didn't even say anything. You were just. Where is he going? Where are you headed? Are you looting? <laughs> Keep in mind that my voice pack and croc suit are only available for a limited time because Tab G does rotate the item shop, so if you want it, be sure to get it soon. I can only bully Landfall into bringing my items back so many times before they refuse. Just bully Tab G to putting it back, even though it was not supposed to be available. That's the kind of gauntlet power that I have nowadays. I was just like, put that shit back, and they were like, you got it. <laughs> Travis Scott back in the store. <laughs> Why isn't he back in? And even if you hate my voice pack and croc suit, there's still a battle pass and plenty of other drip that's literally called drip to spend your money on. Grouse and Vada hit up Scooby-Doo drip with Fred and Shaggy outfits, which began with a game of Rate My Fit and ended with Shaggy starting a thermonuclear war. This is the Fred Jones from Scooby-Doo drip. Please stay out of the way. <laughs> You're so fucking upset. Rate My Fit, Badger. No, I'm trying to kill this dude right now. <laughs> What did you say earlier? Well, folks will have the audacity to say, I had a dream about you and not tell me if my tell me pit was, it hard. was hard. I'm telling <laughs> you, dog. Wow. What do you got to wow. say? Wait. Wow. I'm giving you half the floor. Oh, shut <laughs> the fuck. Why are you stepping on my head? Why are you laying on the ground letting your head be stepped on? I don't know. <laughs> that just sounds like abuse with extra steps. Why aren't you Why swearing you up die? in the elevator, dog? <laughs> like, what's the problem? Spread out, gang. I'm going to go with the girls to the bedroom. Daphne, Velma, and I are gonna check it out. Hey, Grouse, I'm so glad you showed up. Way to be on my damn hey, screen. Up, man? Oh, fuck. I gotta, I gotta see if I can, like, form a shaggy fit. Velma, stay the fuck away. Shaggy and I are going to the bedroom. <laughs> we we Why? would air out. <laughs> Run. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. What did you do, Shaggy? Shaggy calls in a new. Like soy scoop. Thermonuclear war. I really don't care what kind of drip you have, as long as you have something on your noodly ass body, because there's plenty of free cosmetics and having zero drip, and I mean zero drip, just makes me uncomfortable. Who is this? Is that a decoy? Why decoy? are you just butt ass naked? Like, you have no drip. This actually makes me a little uncomfortable. Is this is a person. Has it gained sentience? Hold on, no, wave at it. Oh. Well, wow, they just died. No matter what you're wearing or what you're screaming, Tab G is outrageously fun if you actually play the game. Because with tons of you guys joining our lobbies, things often shift from a battle royale into a VR chat server. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out that playing a battle royale, like a battle royale, is a fucking blast. And I want to start with vehicles. There's just something about always having a car and making sure nobody else does that drastically increases your odds of victory. Even if you are just doing drive-bys with a BAR. Yo, why is that bar sticking through your chest the wrong way? Don't hold that bar like that. This was in the manual. Eisenhower said it. How many World Wars did you win? Like you're going to do a drive-by with a bar. I'm pretty sure they did it to, like, everybody in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there just a forest demon sitting out here? What the fuck? I like alcohol too, buddy. Does That's that mean that Blitzkrieg was the I'm ultimate like, start of gang warfare? Basically. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You were wearing a croc suit. I hate it when you lock a car and it's... Like, like, it's just so loud. Who needs that? Why is that a feature? Please, please. Yeah. That was, oh, I made his car. What?
No lie. And the wacky combinations of weapons, buffs, and items always keep Tabji fresh. Like, I had a rare relax blessing which rapidly heals you and your teammates if you go prone, which went perfectly with my croc suit, by the way. Along with flashbangs, a taser, and a flintlock. I don't know. There's just something about somebody getting flashed or tased, and what's the first thing they see in a state of pure panic and delirium? My dog ass with a fully loaded flintlock. Tase them. I tased him! Get him on the ground! <laughs> I got the epic relax. I'm an actual crocodile right now. Fight me, you bastards. I want to heal up a little bit. Here, here, come step on me. All right, here we go. Flash out. Don't look at it. Yes. Oh, I nailed his ass! I shot him on the ground like a fucking rat. I revived you. Step on me. Step on me. Reload! Reload! Yes! I got him! Oh my god! I'll take a blunderbuss over a Barrett or a minigun any day of the week. I know a 50 BMG is a big round, and I know a minigun fires a whole lot of rounds, but whatever the hell is coming out of that flintlock is unmatched. Barrett, Barrett, Barrett. Right. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I nailed that. That vest did not do anything. I mean, he's the last one. <laughs> Slunderbuss hits even harder than a Barrett. Vico Tori. Wow, wow. You really are airing out this whole bar, and it took me one <laughs> shot with a Blunderbuss. Okay. I uh, softened him up for you. End him. Oh, Joe Mama. <laughs> that is horrific. That was not a man's last words in an old west. I just don't, I don't want that to be a reality. I'm picturing a cowboy walking up to a widow that he has just made a widow, taking his hat off, putting it on his chest. His last words were... Joe Mama. <laughs> Old ass weapons aren't limited to flintlocks either because hand cannons exist and not that kind of hand cannon, not that kind of hand cannon, this kind of hand cannon. This is so low. Yo, I hit him like I'm hitting his times. ass. <laughs> Donked on. Oh. <laughs> With the hand cannon. I'm convinced that we need to go back to using muskets and cannons for home defense after recently becoming a first-time gun owner. Modern calibers are so expensive to shoot nowadays that if you're being robbed, you're better off holstering your pistol and giving the thief your wallet. It's a better financial decision. You should have given them the money in your wallet. You should have started negotiating. Take out your gun and start negotiating. Say, I don't want to mag dump you. This is a bad decision for both of us. I feel like I'm sitting at the Airsofters lunch oh, yeah. table right now. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> How long were you in, in Washington before you went out and bought a fucking Glock? Right at 90 days. I went to a local range and I tried out a ton of 9 mil, a ton of 40 Smith and Wesson. Fuck that caliber, it's stupid. And then a ton of 45, and I was like, 45 is good, 9 mil is good. Let me sh literally shoot every CZ, every Glock, every SIG, every Smith and Wesson, every 1911, every Nighthawk you got. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy a Glock 17. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is 17? Because it's full size. The original Glock, it's classic, and it's got 17 rounds. It actually makes what? sense. Not no, like 30. Glock 19. It has nothing to do with 19. It holds 15 rounds. This makes no sense. Glock 45, not chambered in 45 ACP. What the fuck is this entire <laughs> branding? 45 fat slow, but definitely stopping an intruder. 9 mil, you got like oh. a ton of them. 40 Smith and Wesson, fuck you. All Everything bad about every other caliber right. in a caliber. 40 Smith and Wesson is, some, is what uh, someone doesn't know how to min-max in a game, <laughs> and it's just like, just pick one, strength or death, oh. bro. And on that note, Croco with a Glocko happens to be a viable strategy. I feel like plenty of people, myself included, will always opt for that big-ass single-shot weapon that'll erase you in a single blast, but sometimes hurling hundreds of rounds and dodging like a maniac wins out. What the fuck? Oh, oh. I got him. That Wait, Croc's swimming, look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> Mess with the Croco, you get the Glocko. No, this is a perfect time to use my Croc camo. Nobody will know that I'm a Croc. Just crawling along the ground, look at me. No <laughs> one suspecting a thing. What? Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> I downed Tron Virus. All I have is a lot. I, okay, I downed another one. I got downed by Floyd Flamingo. I got... It wasn't all perfect because I had plenty of new curses that I'd never seen before, like curse of randomly shooting, which is self-explanatory, curse of only turn right, where you literally can't turn left, and curse of rubber banding that truly feels like Xbox Live 10 years ago. Wait, 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 wait. I can't turn left. I can't go that way, but I can go this way. 
just fine. Person rubber banding? That the, sounds yo, terrible. that's annoying. What okay, the but, Oh, that's but terrible. It's really good when you're fighting people because, like, they can't predict where you're going to rubber band to. I'm just stuck in a... Oh, yeah, looting is ass. That <laughs> person of random is shooting. Oh, this is awful. Oh, that sounds oh, really hey, bad. And there was also a situation where I got stuck in terrain and was forced to have my own voice spammed at me for several minutes. That was also mighty unpleasant. Gatorland is the closest Earth is gonna get to heaven. God damn it, I am stuck in terrain. Get me out. I got too stuck in this house. I'm like Gmod infinite clipping. Get me out. Pull up. Terrain. Pull up. Terrain. Okay. I still punch you. <laughs> pickle. Pickle. There's... There's nothing I can do. None of you have resources to break me out of here? Give me a break. I know one of you fuckers has a grenade. Oh, that works. That works. That works. That works. I think. <laughs> it's gonna work! It's gonna break me out! I have to admit, I think that made it worse. I do not right, think well. that has improved the situation at all. But even when shit was going south, you guys always managed to make it better with your arrivals in Twitch chat. I don't know how so many of you out there can be such a special kind of weird, but I can't help but enjoy myself when you share your stories. What? Red Hood? I'm covered in coal dust, tired, and now watching this dumb motherfucker play a damn noodle game? <laughs> this day is great. Why are you covered in coal? Do you work in a, in a mine? <laughs> I watched my coworker get crushed. You're at Chili's right now, Nugget Lover OP? Really? You're in a Chili's? You're in a Chili's location right now. Ow. Like, no cap. I'm what state? Do Don't say Florida. Need some burn cream for the smoke my fantasy football opponent just blew up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first time catching a stream, I just want to say the look on my boomer co-workers' faces when I tell them I'm drinking guacamole gamer fart made my day. Thanks for that. Boomers don't understand. They don't. Guacamole gamer fart has nothing to do with ruining the housing market. <laughs> so they wouldn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> and to round things out, I highly recommend you check out Tab G, which is now free to play. Even if you don't buy my dipshit croc suit or voice pack, it's a truly unique experience unlike any other battle royale, and it's very welcoming to new players. Even the best players in the game, like Saltig, who is at the top of the leaderboards, will probably just throw monkeys at you if he sees you. This is definitely not Rust, where you'll be bullied into oblivion. Oh, he can throw out all kinds of monkeys. Oh my god. You have unlimited monkeys? What? That's better than any weapon that I know of. Oh shit! <laughs> it's gotta be like Rust, where like if you're successful in real life, they just bully you for that. Yeah, I bet you got kids. I bet you got a job. <laughs> Made one call on Valorant, they kept saying, hey, You got a 401k, 401K, you fucking loser. <laughs>